one of the things I look for in a lamp assembly to see if it's still good is the condition of this portion of the arc tube. That is the actual bulb. This is out of a uh, fake Osram, I think. Oh no, it might be a real Osram. So that's the actual bulb. This actually makes the light. You get your little arc inside here, and there's gas in there, and it makes a glow nice and bright and gives you your picture. So this one, in fact, it's easy to see with my gloves. See that white spot? That was the side that was facing down. So that was, it was sitting like this. And then as the arc points in there wore out, they would drop their deposits or, you know, whatever happens from the electrical reaction inside there with the gas. And it starts to drop the deposits down in the bottom there. So that's one of the things I look for to see if a lamp is good or not. I look for that white spot. If I see that spot, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It just means it's well used. Plenty of lamps will still work even like that, although they do get to a point eventually where they won't. So when you're looking for a good lamp, or see if your lamp is good, look. And it's kind of hard to see sometimes when you're looking at them this way, especially inside the reflector. It gets all, you know, on the camera it's actually a lot harder to see, but in, in person, really, I just kind of rotate it and I look to see if I see a white spot shining back at me. And this one has a little one right there on the top. You can let's see if I can point it out. Yep, see in the reflector right there? A little more right there. And then it's clear on the bottom. So this is worn, but I don't know if it's bad. But whatever, we have a lamp we can try there when we get to that point. Here's a little bigger arc tube or burner. Sometimes they're called burners. You can see that has a serial number on the side there. Uh, one way to tell if your uh, lamp is counterfeit or not, especially if it's an Osram, is this number here, at least part of it, should correspond to the side of the arc tube. Let's see if we can get it so you can see it. See, it's right here. It's kind of hard to see. Zero four six four P. Yeah, so it matches the uh, beginning part here. Probably more of it. I just it's kind of hard to read. Zero four six four P one seven F or E one seven E. And sure enough, so a way to double check if you're not sure if your Osram lamp is real or not. Sometimes you'll see. It's stamped on the back, and other times it will be engraved. Like, I don't have an engraved one over here, but sometimes that's recessed. Uh, I had one, I don't know where I put it. But whether it's engraved or stamped like that, look for this sticker. The uh, first number will be the serial number of the arc tube. The second set of info here, this RX-5, that's actually a date code. Uh, I forget how you interpret those, but I have a chart somewhere. But that tells you the date code and where it was manufactured. And then the serial number should match the number that's engraved on the side of the uh, arc tube there. So anyway, let me uh, get back off that tangent. 